Welcome to Electron Online and in this video we're going to talk about the at least one or ones rule. You do a bunch of things and you want at least one outcome. For example, you toss a coin a certain number of times, let's call it n times, and you want at least one head to occur on all those tosses. How do you figure that out? And so the answer is here, you take the probability of one minus the probability that you will not get ahead on any one toss raised to the n power where n is the number of tosses. So it looks a little strange for the equation, but let's put some numbers on there. Let's say that we're going to uh, toss the coin four times, and we want out of those four times, we want at least one of those four tosses to be ahead. So the probability is going to be equal to one minus what is the probability that you will not get ahead on any one toss? Well, it can either be heads or tails, so there's a 50-50 chance, so one out of two is the possibility that we get no head, and since you're tossing it four times, you raise out to the fourth power, so this will be one minus one half to the four. oh, I did that already. What is one half to the fourth power? Well, that would be one over, two, four, six, sixteen, which is equal to one minus one sixteen, which would be fifteen sixteenths. So, if you're going to toss a coin four times, there's 15 out of 16 probability that at least one of those will be ahead. Could be more than one, but at least one of them. And that's how we do it. It's simply one minus the probability that you get the opposite of the event, no head, and you raise that to the number of times you tried the event, you tried the outcome to come out. So in this case, four tosses or four coin flips, so therefore n is equal to four. And that's how we do that.